You have a unique way of pushing screen. Oh god, dude! He did it again. Yeah! Got him! Is that not the sickest thing ever, dude? <laughs> Pennsylvania has a rich history of fly fishing. The sheer amount of trout water in Pennsylvania is overwhelming, which is part of the reason the state has produced some of the most well-known anglers in fly fishing. As incredible as this state is, I've never really put much effort into exploring it, but I'm hoping to change that. Welcome back to another video. Oh God! A good brown. Oh, chill, buddy. I'm trying to get him to come up here. Yeah! Let's go! Nice fish, dude, fatty. Recently, I was able to fish with my buddy Dan from Hardway Outdoors and throw streamers for brown trout and, oddly enough, musky. Dan has his own YouTube channel and guide service and knows at least one or two things about Pennsylvania. The plan for the day was to float a section of river, but the weather was trash and with wind gusts pushing 30 miles per hour, we were forced to change plans. Luckily, the backup was pretty incredible. Oh God, dude. How did he not get hooked? Wasn't even looking. I wasn't, I'm not sure I was working the streamer to be honest with you. That was weird. One of these will get hooked. There we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Hey, let's go, dude. That's a good fish to start out the day. Thanks, buddy. First brownie of the day, like 15, 16 inches of fat sassiness. Let's go, dude. That's sweet, sweet. It's a good way to start it out. All this looks good, to be honest with you. Fifty-fifty shot. Oh god, there's one. Good fish. Good fish. Oh dude, I wouldn't even look at that one. That's nice fatty. Oh streamers out. Streamers out. Big fat cows. Let's go. I mean, this could just have a donkey brown in it. Having said that, I don't usually have luck in like big, st oh, there we go. Good brown. Where you at, buddy? There he is. Come on, come on up here, buddy. Let's go, dude. We we're just talking about how we weren't, we didn't, we never caught one in this hole. Never moved one. Another just solid brown. That's probably the longest one. Although she's not. Thanks, girl. That was cool. Yeah. Love to catch them in spots you don't normally do it. Yeah, it's just there's never flow through here either, so that yeah. could be a big factor. We actually have some moving water. They don't have as much time to look at it. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. Yeah, that one just smashed it. Broke me off. Where's my musky rod? <laughs> After the musky broke me off, I tried to catch the fish for a few minutes with my musky setup unsuccessfully. The problem with musky is their teeth slice through regular fishing line with ease. So seeing a musky eat your streamer when you're not targeting them is pretty much the equivalent of throwing your streamer in the river and watching it disappear. 
Of course, I only had one of the streamers that were working so well, so when the musky took it, I was forced to change streamers when I really didn't want to. But at least it was cool to see my first Pennsylvania musky, right? Honestly, dude, I'm already about to switch. I don't like that I can't see this thing. I'm about to throw something white or something. Well, I can kind of see it, I guess. I'll, I'll leave it on for a second. My confidence is not high, though. I don't like not being able to see my streamer. Of course, I'll throw out here and catch like a 20, and I'll be like, whoa. Never mind, dude. This streamer's sick. Got me a piece of grass. Grass fish, dude. That's a good fish. I guess I could throw on like a more... Like in between fly, like one of those bigger flies in the ground. Find out. Oh god! It's a good brown. Whoa, chill, buddy. God, dude. No, I'll keep on. I'll keep with it for a little bit. I'll stick with it for a little bit. Oh yeah, it's the nicest one yet. Yeah. Whoa, chill, buddy. I'm trying to get him to come up here. Ah, dude. Heavy boy. Yeah. Let's go! Nice fish, dude. Fatty. That's a fatty, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the streamer on for a little bit. <laughs> Male. Heck yeah, dude. All right, guys. So I just uh, we've caught a quite actually quite a few fish today. It's been really good. Um, and then I just lost my favorite fly ever to a muskie. Not a very big muskie, but a muskie. And then we caught this brown, which might be the size of a muskie. Not really. Would you chill out? Camera shy. Now he's got like in the net. Ugh. There we go. What an awesome fish. Streamer and his jowl. But that's just a healthy, perfect Pennsylvania brown trout. So we gotta get this guy released after I unhook him and keep on fishing. Catch a 30 inch musky and a 20 inch brown here in the next 15 minutes. 20 inch musky, 30 inch brown. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I got it mixed up. <laughs> Circus peanut. Tip oh. with a tip for the night crawler. Yeah, I threw a night crawler on there so the brown would really it would hold on once he ate. Yeah, you that's don't, a, that's you a don't miss him. Don't tell anybody that though. You <laughs> <laughs> a unique way of fishing. Oh God, dude! Eat it again. Yeah, got him. Is that not the sickest thing ever, dude? <laughs> That's the biggest thing yet, dude. Dude, let's look. No, insane. dude. I just was jiggling it on the edge of that rock, dude. That oh, God, dude. I wish they all ate like that. <laughs> you pumped them over the log. <laughs> I had to, dude. It was like, I knew if I didn't pull there, it was over. What a fatty. What an awesome fish, dude. Hold on, let me get my line here. That was such a sick eat, too. Thanks, buddy. Dude, that was so that was sick, sick, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, ready, ready for the rope swing. Dude, look at him fight. Ooh, he's a pretty fish. He's wrapped up. Get him. Nice, man. Get him. Dude, that was a sick eat. Yeah, wow, right that's a gorgeous sir. fish. Yeah. All right, guys. Another gorgeous brown. Maybe not quite as big as that last one, but look at the colors on that fish. That's just an unbelievably beautiful fish. So, anyway, the streamer's like literally gone. What a gorgeous fish. I'm going to head and pop him here. Look at that pretty fella there. Back under the boat. <laughs> Back under the boat. Nice fish. Let's go. <laughs> the further we worked our way down the river, the less trout I moved. This is pretty typical for larger river systems because as you move downstream, the water warms. Eventually, you'll get to a point where the trout can no longer survive. I've tried for musky on the last mile or so of the float with no success, which shouldn't be a shock. But we couldn't complain. Boating so many trout and marginal water is always a treat. If you all have ever wanted to fish PA, then hit up Dan and book a trip. 
He's a wealth of knowledge and will get you on some fish and is seriously just a good dude. Also check out his YouTube channel, I'll leave it linked below. He's got some awesome hunting and fishing videos for both Pennsylvania and out west. Oh and also, don't forget I'm doing a Cortland line giveaway which I'll also have linked below the video. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.